Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In a recent video about uh, the two classic antennas, the dipole and the vertical, I mentioned, uh, well, a commenter mentioned that he was able to uh, tune a dipole that was as short as three-eighths of a wavelength from end to end, or on 10 megahertz to tune a 20-meter dipole fed with open wire line. My remark in the video was that the ideal classic open wire fed dipole should measure at least one half of an electrical wavelength from end to end. However, it is possible to get away with shorter dipoles if the transmatch can handle the extreme impedance that it is likely to see at the feed at the point where the feed line reaches the transmatch. If the transmatch has trouble, you can lengthen or shorten the feed line, and that will sometimes help uh, bring it into tunable range. One excellent transmatch for tuning difficult to tune dipole antennas is made by a, ma a manufacturer called Palstar, P-A-L-S-T-A-R. Uh, I, I have one of those transmatches. I don't know if they still even exist or not, but I'm assuming that you can get one. Uh, or you can make one, you can build one, from circuits in the ARRL antenna book or other publications. But in any case, you can get reasonable efficiency provided that the antenna is high enough above the surface of the earth to get decent results. For example, if you want to really want to get on 160 meters but don't have the room, you can tune an 80 meter dipole fed with open wire line. And if it's reasonably high, go ahead and give it a shot. Try it on the air and see what you, what you can get. You'll never make a contact unless you try. Things like that. Uh, that was a good comment. Thank you very much for that. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which on any antenna in my native fist always translates to did da did da did da